With Mercedes having a new naming system of renaming their SUVs to fit their sedan counterparts, the formerly known GLK is now known as the GLC because it matches the C-Class sedan in terms of its position in their model lineup. However, the new GLC sees more than just a new name. It's completely redesigned on the inside and out, with new sheet metal boasting Mercedes' new design language and more potent powertrains, as well as most important of all, more luxury. So, let's go ahead and check out this 2016 Mercedes GLC 300. Now the GLC gets rid of the very boxy type look that the GLK used to have in favor of a new sleek design and you can really see a little bit of the S-Class Coupe in the rear of the vehicle and it's pretty good looking in my opinion. And on the front end of the vehicle you can see a little bit of the C-Class sedan with the headlights and then when you get the optional LED headlights it looks really good on this vehicle. And then you also do have these fairly conservative looking 18 inch alloy wheels however we have a fairly basic model of the GLC here. Now here goes the key fob design for the vehicle. It's a typical Mercedes key fob. You have your remote keyless entry, your lock, unlock, and then your power tailgate, as well as your panic button too. This color of the GLC is known as the polar white, and you also do have smart key access on all four doors of the vehicle. You also do have a full-on black leatherette interior. Full leather upholstery is optional. You have your power driver's seat controls with your power recline, a power adjustable headrest, and a power thigh extension. And then your power lumbar is located right here. Now the step-in height for the GLC is fairly low. And when you step on inside of the vehicle, you're greeted with a very opulent cabin design. It's very stylish as well. And not surprisingly, it looks a lot like the C-Class sedan's interior. And what you're hearing there is a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine. Full leather wrapped steering wheel. Now coming to your transmission, you have a 9 speed automatic transmission and in typical Mercedes fashion, you go up for reverse, down for drive, and then push for park. And you also do have a column mounted shifter. When you put the vehicle into reverse, this displays your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory too. You can also change the brightness of the rear view camera and you could turn the parking aid lines on or off if you would like. And then the mirrors will tilt down when you put the vehicle into reverse as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights, they're already on. And then the hazards too. All windows are fully automatic in the GLC. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED side turn signal indicators integrated onto the mirrors. And you also do have blind spot detection. Eighteen inch alloy wheels. You can get different kind of wheels that do look a lot better and that are more stylish, of course. Halogen headlights with LED daytime running lights. LED headlights are also available. Now, since we do have the GLC 300 here, we do get a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder that produces 241 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque, with EPA estimates being a pretty excellent 22 in the city and 28 on the highway. All-wheel drive is also optional with Mercedes 4MATIC all-wheel drive system. Overall, this powertrain does provide decent fuel economy as well as 
a decent amount of power too. Total vehicle price for the GLC, you're looking at $42,735. EPA estimates, like I said, are 22 in the city and 28 on the highway. The GLC features a very sleek design with Mercedes' new design language. Kind of looks like the S-Class Coupe's taillights. Coming to the rear, you have LED taillights with LED turn signals and a rear window wiper with a rear window defroster. And you also do have dual exhaust tips at the bottom right here and LED license plate lights. Of course you have all of your basic power necessities, power windows, power mirrors, they also do power fold. And you also do have your memory seat settings for three people and your power door locks which is located right here. And let's go ahead and rev it up. Now, build quality and materials are excellent inside of the GLC, of course, just like how a Mercedes should be. Upper door panels are covered in a nice softly padded material as well as the mid door panels and the armrest. And then the dashboard is covered in a nice softly padded material as well. Build quality is excellent inside of this vehicle. No panel gaps, no interior trim and pieces creak a whole lot. Overall, this is a very impeccable interior when it comes to its build quality and materials. Now I love the new steering wheel design language from Mercedes. This is also very similar to what you'll find on the C-Class. Now it's fairly stylish in its design. Coming over here we have your controls for the little LCD screen in the center right there between the gauges. Over here we also do have your Bluetooth phone controls, your voice recognition button, and your steering wheel mounted audio controls. Coming right here we also do have your switch for your power tilting and telescoping steering wheel and it offers a pretty good range of adjustment I have to say. Coming up here we have your auto dimming rear view mirror and then you have your LED map lights, SOS safety connect and your sunglass container that's lined with felt. One styling touch I really do love of the GLC is this really nice wood grain trim. Now coming right here we also do have dual cup holders, a little storage cubby and a 12 volt power outlet. Right here you also find your controls for your command interface which I'll get to in just a second. Coming to the center console lid it's nice and soft touch. And then you'll find a pretty good amount of center console storage and then two USB charging ports are also located down here. Now you can get a really nice panoramic sunroof in the GLC however ours doesn't have it here but it makes the cabin much more airy feeling inside of here. Coming right here we also do have your heated seats, three staged, and then you also find this button on the passenger side as well. And you also do have a Burmester premium audio sound system in this vehicle. The seats in the GLC are excellent, comfortable, and great for long road trips. They're also really well supportive. They provide a pretty good amount of thigh support too and a decent amount of support on the side bolsters and you also do have a thigh extension right here too and it is powered which is nice. Now visibility is okay in the GLC here but due to the really sleek styling it's kind of hard to see back in the rear 
and the GLK didn't used to have the very sleek styling. It used to be a very boxy type of vehicle, but um, the sleek styling back there kind of creates a big blind spot. And as far as the front windows go for the glass area, it's okay, but it's not the best. And seeing out of the windshield is a little bit hard. The AC controls in the GLC also have a very simple and clean looking layout. We do have dual zone automatic climate control. You have your temperatures on the sides right here, as you can see. Then you have your different zones, and then your fan speeds, and then you have your front window defroster, rear window defroster, and your recycling. If you go to the menu right here, it also shows you if your climate control is on or off, which is pretty cool. And then you could change your temperature from here too, or the air distribution, or the air flow, and the temperature from here too, all by the dial right here, which is pretty cool. Now coming to the command interface, we've seen this system on the new S class as well as the C class too. And coming to the main menu, your different radio sources include all of the norm. We have AM, FM and satellite radio and you also do have HD radio too I love the rendering and the graphics behind the command interface and it's all controlled by the dial as well as this touchpad right here and then some of the buttons surrounding it too coming to your different media sources you have all of the norm your USB ports with iPod integration Bluetooth streaming audio your auxiliary input all that good stuff Coming to telephone right here, you can hook up your Bluetooth phone, and then you can search Mercedes-Benz apps, you can go to their mobile website, or go to your internet favorites, or search the web, pretty cool there. And then of course you can have all of your contacts stored on here and have an integrated dial pad when you hook up your Bluetooth phone. When you go to vehicle right here, you have your operator's manual, and then you could search up things on the vehicle if you need to read more about it or learn more about it. You have your time that you could change right here too. You have your vehicle settings that you could change from the acoustic lock feedback, the exterior lighting, interior lighting. You also do have ambient lighting inside of this vehicle. I really love the rendering of this system and the little graphics of the car and everything of the GLC which is pretty cool to me. And then you also do have your dynamic select, which is basically your different driver selectable modes for the vehicle. We have your comfort mode, and then a eco mode. Your eco mode is the most fuel efficient setting, of course. And then your comfort mode is for like everyday use. And then you have your sport mode, and then your sport plus mode, which changes the throttle response a little bit and tightens up the steering. It also shows you on the little LCD screen what mode you're in too. And then what I love about the command interface is that you also do have this little back button right here which helps out quite a lot when switching between the menus. Coming to consumption right here gives you a little bar graph of your fuel consumption. Pretty cool there. Overall really love the command interface. It's one of the best systems in the business. It's pretty user friendly and I really love the graphics and the rendering behind it. Now also another thing, part of the command interface is that you have this touchpad right here and basically you could just swipe between the menus like this, which is pretty cool and then you also do have your back button right here too. Now coming right here we also do have your automatic start stop system so when the vehicle comes to a complete stop the engine will actually shut off to save fuel. It's one reason why this vehicle earns decent fuel economy numbers. Right here we also do have your volume button for the command interface and then you could turn the radio off or on if you would like. And then you have your traction control off button right there too. And then you have your dynamic select. You could s switch between the different driver selectable modes. Coming to the gauges in the instrument cluster in the GLC, I really do love them. However, I wish the font was a little bit bigger on the speedometer and the tack. Um, coming over here we have your speedometer and then your fuel gauge. On the right we have your tachometer and then your coolant temperature. Now right here you have a little LCD screen that shows you various amounts of vehicle information, of course. Coming to trip, this is basically all your vehicle information. You have your fuel range, and then your fuel consumption gives you a little bar. And then your trip odometer, digital speedometer, 
and then your trip information and then you have your eco display coming to radio shows you what radio station is playing you ch can change your radio station from here your media if you have any media sources connected shows you if a device is connected telephone shows you if you have your bluetooth phone connected to down here you have your assistance graphic then you have your service gives you your tire pressure and then settings for the system like driver assistance let's go to the driver assistance settings you have your attention assist your collision prevention and then your blind spot monitoring system lights you can change the instrument cluster you can display different units if you would like then you have your factory settings too overall lo love this little LCD screen it's pretty useful and love the graphics and the rendering behind it now as far as the way the GLC drives it's a very comfortable riding vehicle and the steering and the handling are very precise you can really feel for where this vehicle is trying to go it's very responsive and it kind of feels nimble around corners it's one of the better handling vehicles in the class now the two liter turbocharged four cylinder certainly provides enough power for this little compact crossover and provides decent fuel efficiency too overall the GLC is certainly very enjoyable to drive and the 9 speed automatic transmission is a lot better than the old 7 speed automatic the old 7 speed automatic used to hesitate a lot when shifting and I'm gonna go ahead and, sh and shut down the GLC let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle Build quality and materials do follow through in the rear of the GLC now sitting back here of the GLC it's a pretty comfortable experience. You will find a decent amount of headroom and a decent amount of legroom. You have dual map pockets back here as well as rear air vents. And you have a little storage compartment as well as cup holders too. The seats themselves are also very comfortable and very well supportive. I would certainly take a long road trip in this vehicle. And you also do have rear adjustable headrests. All right. Now you do have a power tailgate. Nice little nifty feature there. Now the seats in the GLC, they do fold down 60-40 split. And back here, you also find a little storage compartment. And then you have a first aid kit on the side right here too. And then you have your cargo cover and a 12 volt power outlet. Cargo space is decent back here in the GLC. It's certainly competitive in the class. You do have a powered passenger seat with power recline and it also is heated three staged just like the driver's seat. Then you also do have power lumbar too. Here goes your glove box compartment, nice and damp, and lined with felt too. So the 2016 Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 is an excellent choice for a luxury compact crossover. It's fuel efficient, stylish, and very luxurious too. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.